To get the mean, you add up the numbers and divide by how many there are. But what about combined means? Let's take this example. Nadir asked 15 students about the AP1 results. Their mean was 62. He later asked 25 students about the AP1 results and their mean was 71. Work out the combined mean. To work out the combined mean, first we're going to have to go backwards. If it's the sum of the numbers, divide by how many there are, gets you the mean. If you multiply both sides by how many people there were, you'll get the sum equals the mean times by the number of people. In other words, we can find out the total score of these 15 students by doing 15 times by their mean of 62. 15 times 62 is 930, so the total score of these students was 930. What about the total score of these 25 students? Well, there's 25 of them, their average was 71, so their total score was 1775. Now what we do to find the combined mean is simply find the combined total and divide by how many students. The combined total is 1,775 plus 930, and then that number divided by the 40 students, which is 67.6. So the combined mean is 67.6, and the way we write that is with an x and a little line on the top. It just means the mean of this combined sample. If you like formula, I can give you the formula up here. All that means, though, it looks complicated, it just means you get the mean of the first group times it by how many people there were to get their total, the mean of the second group times by how many people were in that group to get their total, add the two totals together and divide it by the total number of people in the case, and that will give you the combined mean.